Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Jacob Dickey. A lot of talk about the northern lights being a possibility here in Central Illinois. I want to dive into that and talk about what we expect here. So uh, to help out with that here, first off, uh, let's bring up the Earth and see what's going on here. First off, when we look at things, often what's used is the KP index. It's a measure of energy that's expected in the atmosphere. Long story short, the higher the number, the better the chance of the northern lights are seen more low here. And you can see uh, as the values go down there to get the northern lights down into central Illinois, you typically need that value 7, 8, 9 range. And you can see that kind of out front there where it does so. Those are some of the values that we think may be coming from this uh, solar uh, event that's heading our way. And uh, so what we'll expect is potentially here, the northern lights may come on down a little further to the south here and potentially even overhead in central Illinois in a higher end scenario for us. So what are we looking at as far as that forecast goes? Uh, when we talk about things here, I want to talk about it in terms of the space weather forecast. You may have heard a term called the G4 solar storm coming. What's that mean here? Well, the scale is a one to five. You've got minor, moderate, strong, severe, and extreme. And basically when we look at that, the G4 is the forecast. We've got a G4 solar watch in place. Some of the things we can sometimes see, sometimes the power grids can be impacted. It's usually very localized. Last time we had a G4, there were some minor issues in parts of the world, but nothing too significant. More than likely though, the satellites maybe have a little trouble communicating, maybe some failures with GPS. You might see if you're trying to drive, some of the GPS is bouncing around there. And uh, the northern lights is probably the biggest chance to get further to the south, potentially seen dimly in the northern horizon as far south as the mid-south United States, even the southwest here. What does it mean for us? Well, when we look at things uh, in Charleston right now, if we had a sky like this, it'd be better, but there is some cloud cover, and we'll deal with that through the day. We'll get to the tonight forecast coming up in a minute. In the meantime, 54 is that current temperature with a north wind at 6 miles an hour. And uh, as we look here, I do expect to see some clouds through the day. In fact, they may pick up a little bit this afternoon and evening. Something to keep an eye on for us today, but I still think if you're looking at getting outside today, beautiful weather. Tonight then, uh, after we get those daytime highs in those upper 60s, we'll see temperatures cool off. We've got to watch. While things look pretty good here to our area, some cloud cover present. Off to the north and west of us, a little clipper system trying to come down. That may bring some more of this cloud cover, uh, some of that cloud cover our way. So we will see the forecast showing partly to mostly cloudy during the nighttime hours. I do think there will be some breaks in the clouds. It's not low, dense stratus clouds blocking the entire starry sky, uh, but we'll watch that. And there may be a chance for a few showers as well. 52, though, not bad. You just need a jacket to get outside, and so that's something that we'll watch here. Uh, 52, that temperature tonight in Champaign, 53 in Decatur. Future track here shows maybe a few spotty showers here as we go into tonight. Here comes that front, something to watch. We'll keep an eye on that uh, as it slides on by. We're still hopeful, though, that we get a view of the northern lights here. The tips for that, when I say the best chance to spot them, first off, you got to be prepared to be disappointed. That can happen. Don't expect those vivid displays like you see photos of. And uh, we want you to go to a dark area if possible to do that. Get away from town, away from lights. Give your time some eyes, the uh, eyes some time to adjust here and have a lot of patience as well as uh, those long exposure lenses, your phones. That might be the best chance to see them. It's not going to look like those photos. That northern lights forecast though does come our way, so there's a chance we could be surprised and see them really well with the naked eye. But uh, your best chance again is going to be with those phones and timing for that going to be 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. Your best chance there. That's what you can plan on. You've got to be patient. Spend some time outside. After that, then 70s for temperatures of the weekend. Beautiful. We'll talk about the weekend forecast coming up. A couple of showers possible Monday and Tuesday. Wednesdays, Honor Guard here. We uh, have Operation Honor Guard in the back parking lot. Uh, looks like we'll clear those shower chances out in time for that. Overall, not a bad forecast for us here. And of course, we're going to keep our eyes to the sky tonight. Absolutely. At least it's not for severe weather. It's for something maybe a little more fun. I think this weekend is going to be a nice reward for all It of us. really is too. So yeah. we'll uh, look forward to that. All right.